let's chat. Okay, guys, I'm here, and I am happy to finally get into finishing up the fourth episode and starting the fifth episode of A Dragon Prince, a great show that has what I think one of the best uh, representations of signing by a strong, awesome character uh, in this show. It's just a really great show. I want to share it with you guys, too. I am so thankful you guys are having a really fun time with this. The this number of really cool comments that I've gotten have really inspired me to keep going on with this along with my other SE video conversations. And I think it all falls into the spirit of how do you communicate effectively with other people? Sometimes you could use your words, sometimes you could use body language, sometimes you could use combination of words spoken through body language to get the same point across. And I think we can learn from other kinds of cultures, we can learn from other different ways of doing things, and we can learn together. So in my opinion, let's practice and learn new things together. Let's go, guys. We're going to have a fun time. Also, I'm starting this episode off with something I like to call, <laughs> and bear with me, because <laughs> it's going to be kind of corny, a section called, Where is the Love? Where is the love? The love, the love. Okay, so guys, here's some of the comments that I've been getting so far. Thank you so much for doing this. I've learned some science from my coworkers that I've been trying to learn on my own. When I saw the show, I really wish I had taken a proper class in sign language. And I didn't know ASL even had grammar. Probably my coworkers let it slide with me. But thanks so much for doing this. I'm learning so much more about the show and ASL and it's making me so excited. Thank you for looking more into sign language. I think it's definitely something to look more into. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I use it almost on a daily basis with my family and at work, and I think it's just a really cool thing to uh, enrich your life with. Keep learning. If you're a Taki, if you're a Coda, if you're someone who's never even heard about sign language before, even sign language or grammar, this, these kinds of projects are for you. Get excited about sign language. Learn more about it. Explore your horizons and find some really cool things. I'll help you on the way, and we can do it together. All right, what else we got? Hey, great video. It gave me a bit of inspiration to learn ASL. I'd love to see more signing from the second season. Dude, I'm so happy that you're excited, Mag, to learn more about ASL. It's a really cool language. Check it out. Definitely check it out. Go take some classes. There's even classes online that you can check, check out. Bill Vickers classes, Life Print. Release them all on the internet. They're really great resources. Start learning more about ASL. And maybe you can find like deaf communities to like hang out with too. Um, <laughs> I might, Matt says, I might be the perfect niche for your videos, but I especially love these. Thank you for sharing all that you share, Ty. Communication is always a compromise between what you mean to say with your words and how a person interprets those words. A very insightful and slightly trimmed nugget that I had to edit in. Not bad for a comment that I made up entirely on the fly. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think it's true, right? Like, whenever someone says something, you're really... And whenever someone hears the thing that the person said, it's always a compromise between the two of what the actual meaning was. And so, how you express yourself can really affect how you are heard by other people. And body language, whether it's in standard speaking or even in ASL format, are really important. And I think it's just cool to learn from both sides. All right. Also, did you know Calum is voiced by Jack the Sun? I guess I know that. Everybody knows that. He's awesome. He has a sh YouTube show uh, with a guy named Chris Smith. Really cool show. Jack or Chris and Jack. I'll put a link to the description. They're a really, really great uh, comedy duo. And I want to have that level of bromance with anybody in the future. It's so great. You need to watch. A sh you just watch any skit of theirs. It's amazingly filmed. Great guys. Hey, on Reddit, TC Indiana said, I just started watching the show and I was wondering if it was real sign language. Pretty cool. Dude, it's real sign language. Awesome. Cool. Let's move on. We got a lot of it. Anyway, like what I'm saying is so much love. I appreciate it. I watched out of, okay, so Ginger Gaming says, I watched out of curiosity and I just can't stop. Why do you do this to me? I want to learn ASL now and I don't even know any deaf people. This is just way too cool. Thank you. Thank you so much for looking more into it. This is exactly more or more than I could have even hoped for. People wanting to know more about ASL. People wanting to explore it more and have some fun with it and enrich their lives with it. That's what it's all about, guys. Anyway, let's get to the real meat and potatoes of this situation, dudes. We are going to go through the very last remaining bits 
of episode four that I forgot to write. <laughs> that I forgot. Oh, <laughs> here's all my. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, so I clearly have a lot of things that I have to get done today. Let's see. Uh, I got to print tickets. There's a rando phone number here. Formal way to ask people. Yeah, I got a big list of stuff to get done. Uh, so how about we? Are you kidding me? Give me a moment. How uncouth of me to not have this video up and ready to go, right? Okay, here we go. All right. Cool. Guys, I think we're ready to go. All right. Here is the video. We're going to have a good time. This is the last couple of seconds of episode four. Let's see what we got. Stop the coronation. The princes are alive. Okay, so from memory, why did I put myself under this much pressure? Stop. Cor uh, this just You're just acting out putting a crown on someone's head, so stop the coronation. Uh, I think she might have said those boys or those boys, princes are alive. There are a lot of different ways you can say alive. Oh, she's doing it this way. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go over this nice and slow. Stop putting a crown on their head. Stop the coronation. coronation. Those. Uh, she could be saying those, those, like those, which looks like one finger, but those boys, like those boys, princes are alive. Let's see. Princes are Oh, look how she does that. Alive. So... Speaking of how you express yourself with different kinds of body language, there are different intensities of signs that you could use. For example, I could say this is the sign for live. It could also mean alive. In some cases, it could mean address. It's just depending on how you use it. But like here, like where you live, right? Uh, or live where, right? Uh, but live, you could also go uh, with um, L signs on both hands this is L this is the L sign and you're still making the live sign so when you combine them together you get this and that's another acceptable way, acceptable way to show live and then she's going really hardcore with it it's because there's sometimes a little tilt to it like you can do this but to go like wow there's some flavor there and that flavor is cool it's a very flavorful way of saying and I don't curse I won't, I'm not going to curse in this but I'm just like those guys are alive dummies <laughs> don't put the crown on the head those boys those boys princes they're alive baby they're alive get in it they're alive she's so like i said reformed way of saying is like uh don't or like don't put the crown oh i'm sorry she says stop don't put the crown on those people's heads the boy princes are alive she's like no they're alive stop this listen to me i love it flavor expression with no speaking she's speaking with her body it's just great Alive. just really great it's really in touch with how she would say that it's just a little touch of flavor look at this guy look at that pout all right so now next scene that's the end of episode four how guys. could you let it come to this you speak as if oh my gosh I will say this about the Dragon Prince. I love the show, but some of the camera angles that they choose to when General Maya is speaking makes it absolutely impossible to understand what she's saying. I think we're like 20 feet away. I think we're like literally like all the way at the bottom of a hallway. <laughs> we're like so far away. I cannot see this. <laughs> and it's a great camera angle, so no doubt it's definitely a great camera angle, but like as far as one of interpreting ASL, it's like really, really hard. How to could see. you let it come to this? Okay, how could I'm gonna try one last time. I'm gonna try one last time. How could you let it come to I think so how you this I can't see what she's saying, and it's also like 16 frames, at, if anything. It's not much. How could you let it come to this? 
How would I sign that? How could you let it come to this? I cannot see what's going on there. If I was going to sign, how how could you let it come to this? Okay, so again, possible point of, con point of contention, but I wouldn't be as formal as that, and I don't sign. When I sign, I don't normally sign with the exact words that I would normally say in order. I think that's called exact English signing. I don't do it that way. Um, I would be like, uh, which with like a confused face. And I think that's like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, man? Like, what are you doing? You can do it with one hand too. Uh, what I'm doing with my hands is the D and the O. Like, so D O, D O, D O, D O, D O. And then when you do signs like that over enough times, it kind of gets lazy and it becomes part of the uh, vocabulary of ASL to an extent. Standard, possibly not. Common, absolutely. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? So, um, I think it's what do. So, like, if I was asking someone, like, what they do for a living, like, what do you do for a living? Like, what do you do for a living? Like, I really would like to know. But if I'm also, like, upset that someone did something crazy, what, what are you doing, man? What's going on here? Like, how could you have let it come to this? Right? D-O, D-O, D-O. But really, it's more like a G sign. It's more like a G. Right? So it's like, what are you doing? Hey! Hey, what do you, what do you doing, huh? <laughs> oh, that's random. Random. Speak, I apologize, New Jersey. Invited, <laughs> I... Okay, next sign. Next, next, next scene. Oh, my gosh. How could you let it come to this? How could you let you it come to this? speak as if I invited these assassins. Okay. I had to leave our stronghold at the stronghold breach. breach. You any idea? Do you have any idea? Danger, the dangerous forces, forces gathered in our border? There? I did everything in my... Okay, let's slow that down. I, I had to leave... Had to... Okay, so a lot of different ways of saying sign or for leave, but she's saying like, I had to go, I had to leave, like, I had to go or I had to leave a situation, right? Um, leave our strong. Looks like she's. So I'm not absolutely sure what she's saying here. Help me out in the comments. But basically, it looks like she's forming um, like some sort of fortress. No, so this is a sign for fortress. But it, you can also shape the walls of like a really big um establishment like a like a stronghold uh with your hands and i think that's what she's doing like there's an i had to leave the place that you know was built to like protect everybody right i think she's signing the building with her hands by forming like an imaginary building around it Unhold the breach. and she's also doing that with the breach as well like the line of a giant uh, rift or what, what do you call it a fault line or like a breach she's forming that with her hands as well you any idea idea off the top of your head with an I sign I so I this is I off your top of your head idea you any idea you have Danger. any idea? The Masses. Dangerous. So again, she's forming a bunch of stuff that's dangerous. So I could say a, a dangerous thing, like a ding, a dangerous single thing, or dangerous bunch of stuff that's Forces lining that breach. Gathered in our there, way over there, or like. I'm making a point, I did but like, I think she means like there in the sense of like, <laughs> I said, again, I would say, I, would, I, I won't curse, but she's like, do you, do you have any idea how many people are there, punk? <laughs> but no, she means like there, but there's so much attitude with it. I even think, I'm thinking like this additional eyebrow raise, there, look at the eyebrows, look at there, punk. Mm. I did ev So let's review that real quick. Let's just review those signs real quick. Okay, so there's a lot of formations 
with her hands of what she's trying to sign. But we'll go through it Everything one last in time. So I had to leave, or I'm exiting a situation, or I had to get out of a place. I... Me and probably a bunch of other people, too, now that you, you think about that. But I had to leave the fortress that we had set up. I had to leave our stronghold. stronghold. At the breach. Breach. You... Any idea? Do you have any idea? The dangerous forces gathered, gathered in our there. border. Punk, punk. <laughs> I did. Everything. I love the way she signs. My power to protect. It's not just the science, it's her whole body language going into it. But yeah, uh, a lot of times, at least for as, as, as far as I've seen a lot of times in ASL, um, you will shape things with your hands as a descriptor for specific things that you may not have the time or feel the need to spell out. And that is a very common thing that's done. Standard, oh, there'll be people with you know their educated glass and we're like uh not in my country not in my district not with my friends but is it commonly done absolutely absolutely <laughs> it's a living language that is constantly evolving and that could be the case from one group of friends on one side of the city to another group of friends on the other side of the city they may have completely different ways of explaining things like that and tendencies that change the way how this language evolves over time much like any other kind of language and shaping things to describe where you are or where things are or what things you're talking about it's very very common act king harrow i was willing to give my own life then what went wrong what so what went wrong wrong what so what went wrong wrong remember from last time the first i think one of the first signs in the last episode was uh, wrong, which can be signed this way or like this. Wrong, what? Wrong, what? What? What went wrong? Wrong. He did. His own stubborn ways stopped me from mm. helping him. I love this voice actor so much. You know him so as much. well as I do. He's great. His pride was more important to him than his life. So good. You wanted this outcome. Oh, you wanted this event. Oh, what's outcome? I don't know the sign for outcome. But I know this means event. What's the sign for outcome? I don't know the sign for outcome, but I recognize this sign. Ooh, you wanted this result? Result? You wanted this. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on in this scene. Um, uh, Varen is basically making the point that he uh, has some ulterior mode like he might have ulterior motives that Amaya is catching on to and Amaya is like cut the you know BS you wanted this to happen so that you can gain power right and the signs that she's using are indicative of someone who's being very curt and like uh, straight to the point and so Stubborn there's stop. indexing involved with the way that she's signing at this point so it's not so much formative but it's more of like this that you'll see what I'm talking about. To me, Let's from helping him, you know him as well as I do. His pride was more important to him than his life. You, you wanted this, so like this means oh, this this is gonna sound a little weird, but like if I'm if I'm pointing at something, like I mean the cup, right? Like I'm pointing at something that's a cup, but if I mean this in the general sense. I'm saying like this situation, I'm saying like this, I'm indexing something by like pointing at it, right? And it is a, it is a forceful thing to do, but to add to it implies even more flavor or power behind it. So it's not even just saying like, hey man, you wanted this, right? She's like, you wanted this. She's like into it. She's like completely 
throwing more signs or like descriptors into the situation that adds a little bit more intensity, a lot more intensity into what she's trying to say. So it's like, you wanted this event. He says outcome. That works. That works. Um, let's see. I'll show wanted you. Wanted this outcome. Ooh, How so good. Suggest it's so good. It let's rewind that. But you, you wanted, wanted this, this outcome. Look at that pose afterwards. She's just like, you. She could have said, um, well, <laughs> I believe um, you desired this result, sir. <laughs> but she didn't. She's all like, you wanted this outcome. <sighs> pose, muscling into it. Like, super, super intense. There's a the way she the words that she is picking as i said like back in the like some of the thank you comments the words that she's choosing to say and the way that she's choosing to say them are are very indicative of the meaning that she is trying to express and she's choosing those particular signs and mannerisms to express something that will not be lost in transition <laughs> when Varen hears them. And I think that's a cool thing. It speaks to how a lot of times when we're having conversations with someone, when someone doesn't understand what we're saying, maybe we could be the one blocking that. Maybe we can be the inhibition to what our own meanings. And maybe could just take the effort to honestly express what is ultimately the intention of what we're trying to say to someone else so that they can understand the meaning of what we say and and maybe you know not be so caught up in the words that we're using i feel like a lot of times it's it's hard to communicate or communicate with someone because you're afraid to hurt their feelings or you're afraid to make them defensive or you don't want to have an argument but sometimes it's time it's worthwhile to have that kind of honesty and a whole point of my channel is having conversations with people about you know deeply held beliefs strong motivations Hop topics basically but in a way that can show that you can have these kinds of conversations if you're manage if you're willing to have them in a honest and open you know minded sort of environment and you can get through to people with the right intentions without having to worry about all the drama that comes along with it and I think what comes down to it is being able to just express yourself in a way that just shows hey I'm open-minded but I don't understand how you came to this conclusion based on XYZ. Can we talk about XYZ and figure out whether or not it's reliable or not? That's a great way to get to, you know, uh, the root of a lot of problems. Right now, Amaya is not taking that route. She's going straight. She's going straight for the gut. <laughs> she's going. <laughs> Why you wanted this? You wanted that king to die. He's like, how dare you say, Mike, I wanted the king to die. How dare you? Oh, she just, wants the argument. <laughs> just his death creates opportunity for. So I don't know if she signed his, but she's like his death um, is an opportunity for you, basically. You let's his. Um, do I? Let's see. How dare you? Let's go over the signs. Just, just his death creates opportunity for you. Ah. Okay. There's an interesting thing here. Um, again, it's standard, no. Standard ASL people are gonna hate me. Common, yes. You guys are gonna know what actually goes on. <laughs> In a lot of ASL conversations. So, um, so his death, his death, living, flipped over, it's a euphemism basically, but like death, so you don't have to do this, that's like murder, but like, so his death, excuse me, creates opportunity. This is the sign for, it's not very often used because articles like for and like at and the aren't really used in ASL, but like if you have to sign it, this is the sign for. And then you can combine for you to for you. So for you or for you, right? So his death, opportunity for you, right? Let's his see. death just his, his death, death creates opportunity, opportunity for you for you oh look his the eyebrows <laughs> punk 
<laughs> Look at the eyebrows. His death, his death creates opportunity, opportunity for you. Look at the eyebrows. For you. Punk. His his death, his death creates opportunity for you. Punk. His death Great. creates opportunity for you. For you. His That's an interesting sign death combination. Breaks my heart. Then honor him. Find his children. Okay. Ooh. Opportunity for you. His death, death breaks then my him. heart. Then honor him. Find his children. Okay, I see three signs here. Um, honor, find, and then kids. But I don't see like a then honor him, find his kids. I just see honor, find kids, and that works. That works. Like the signs more or less work. So honor is the H uh, is like the H sign but just like this honor honor uh honor and then find is literally like picking something up so like i pick this up i pick this up and you end up with like the f sign so pick f sign so i find i found this oh look what i found remember what i told you like asl is sort of like shaping what you mean sometimes the signs sort of act out some of the signs sort of act out the 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 verb that's in question so like walking hiding right finding right so uh i found something um so find honor found and kids like literally you're forming a bunch of kids around you and i think she just was i think she does that so let's see they're those. gone amaya captured by a moon shadow elf if they're not all yeah <laughs> he's so intense. breaks my heart then honor him honor him find, find his children kids. yeah they're it's gone a amaya captured by a moon shadow elf if they're not already dead they will be soon breaks my okay i guess we're doing heart. a nice slow breakdown of this scene then remember honor then there's that sign find there's find and then there's kids. Find his children. You literally have three signs here. They're gone. Honor. I am a find servant. Kids. Those are awfully nice clothes for a humble servant. Humble theory. bring person you. Okay. You don't. I got in halfway through that. Let's let's see that slow. You. Oh, that's interesting. She's not saying you. I think she's pointing at a bunch of stuff in his journal direction. That means Those fancy. Nice. Clothes. Nice. Okay. So she, this means his clothes. Help. And thanks for bearing with me. Like, I'm still trying to figure out what she's saying as she's saying it. A couple of issues trying to do this live is she has black gloves and she's like going over parts of her body that have same color clothing as her gloves so it makes it really hard to like see what hand sign she's making as she's like signing it out also the camera angle makes it a little hard to like be right in front of her and see what she's signing because i'm not used to receiving sign language in this in this direction like off to the side like over someone's shoulder <laughs> and the frame rate <laughs> is so bad it's like 12 frames per second or maybe even lower than that it's so you know there's a lot of in-between things that aren't being missed plus you know it's an animation so like the the vivacious aspects are gone some of the context is a little bit off there's a guy in the background saying things and i'm trying to ignore what he's saying because sometimes they're a little bit off tracks with each other but <sighs> I still love this show. I think it's a really great show, and I still think it's the best depiction. I still think Jamero Maya is like one of the best uh, characters to have ever signed in animated form on TV, period. Uh, it's just hard to see sometimes. So let's try this again. I'm just going to back up a little bit. Let's see. So those clothes, maybe? Those, those fancy, nice clothes. nice Close humble for a humble bring person here. you oh that's an interesting let's find out let's bring I don't know what that meant <laughs> I don't know what that meant those hmm what did she say those 
fancy, nice clothes, humble bring, whoop, clothes, humble bring person, you, does she say that? I don't understand that in the sentence. Those fancy, those nice are clothes, nice clothes, humble, for a humble, humble servant. Bring person, you. you. I can see that meaning servant. Bring person, a person that brings you things is a servant, I guess. Those fancy, nice clothes. Oh, I get it. I think I get it. Those fancy, nice clothes. I get it. Okay, so... Amaya is... So how is he... Let's... I just want to verify something real quick. How is uh, Captain Ginger <laughs> translating this? His the those almighty... are awfully nice clothes for a humble servant, Fearon. Those are awfully nice clothes for a humble person, for off humble servant, Fearon. Actually, that's not... So she is being sarcastic as she says this, but I don't think she's, she's saying those are awfully nice clothes for a humble servant. I think she's like... I think General Amaya is, is like saying, hey man, those are some nice clothes, Mr... Oh, you have some pretty nice clothes, Mr. Humble Servant, then? Like, uh, what's right? What's the right word? Like, those are some fancy nice clothes. Those... Those be some fancy nice clothes, Mr. Humble Person. <laughs> Mr. Humble Servant. Oh, it's so hard to express what I mean when I'm saying this. All right, so Captain Ginger is saying uh, those are some awfully nice clothes, Viren. But she's being even more sarcastic than that with the way how she's phrasing this. She's like, those are some fancy nice clothes, Mr. Humble Person. Mr. Humble bringing, Mr. Humble servant. Like you're some sort of humble servant, but you have fancy clothes. But she's not necessarily saying those are some awfully nice clothes for a servant. She's like, those are some awfully nice clothes, Mr. Humble servant. <laughs> it's just a little bit more spice. That's all I'm saying. Like there's a little bit more spice in the way that she's signing this out. Am a servant. Those are awfully nice clothes for a humble servant, Fearon. Yeah, Captain Ginger's um, interpretation of that was just slightly more respectful than it actually was. So she's being slightly more sarcastic, but it's generally the same sentiment. You don't. Let's break that down. I didn't get a chance to do that. So those fancy, those nice. Clothes. Nice clothes. Humble. For a humble bring person. Fear. Um, when you combine the words someone who brings something to you and a person, you can say servant. That works. That works. And then she ends it up with a, a you. Which makes me think she's like Mr. Humble Person. Right? Like Mr. Humble You. you like, oh, you think you're so awesome. Immediately. It's great. Seat. The throne stays empty. Oh, that's interesting. Until we find the boys. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next scene. She said, seat. She signed empty with one hand. Normally, empty is like this. This is empty. But she's like, empty. <laughs> Again, it's just more spice. But like, so seat is like this. It's like literally a person sitting down on something. This means empty, but I think she's doing this. So, like, the seat's empty. And then, ooh, there's some things we're going to talk about. Seat, empty. I think she signed until, but she did it in a really you fancy way. And I didn't see what else was after that. Seat, the throne empty stays empty until, until we find the. Oh, she did, she did find again. Find. Boys? You? Boys. Yeah, I think that's what you're Me. Alright. So, seat. 
empty. The I've never seen anything like that before. But it makes sense. Empty. I've never seen until but. like that. So I've always done until either like this or like this. So like until you got to do this until something else or until something else. Like twist, twist it a little bit. But I've never seen this, <laughs> which technically kind of still works. It's still an until, but it's just a really fancy way of doing it. It's like a very spicy way of doing it. It's like, I'm so pissed. <laughs> until uh, you find the boys, right? Um, you. All right. I think that's what she's saying. Let's see. Until we find, until we the, find boys. the boys. Empty. I've never seen until Unst done that way. I've never seen empty done that way, too. But again, it makes sense. I, un I understand. I understand. Why they're a little bit more spicier than usual because there's a little bit more intensity there, but also when I'm being when I'm receiving signs from someone that I've never met before, they might do the signs a little bit differently. I especially if they're like finger spelling. Like I'm used to seeing finger spelling from my own perspective, so when I see other people do it and they like twist it, like I've seen people do K like this, like this is K. I've seen people do it like this, and it's like. I have no idea what you're signing. Like in my head, it's like, I've never seen a sign. Oh, it's just K. It's just that. There's a funny story. To put this in context, I once went to Cheesecake Factory with my sister and my mom, and it was cool. <laughs> and I enjoyed it a lot. And I think I got the meatloaf, and there was like this red sauce on top of the meatloaf. And I'm like, this place is so fancy. They even have a special sauce for the meatloaf. What is this delectable sauce that you put on meatloaf? It's so good. It's ketchup. <laughs> It was just ketchup. So, in the same sense, I there are a lot of things that you may have seen every day, tasted even every day, but at least seen every day, that you won't recognize if they're in a slightly different context, such that someone else doing the same signs to you in a slightly different way, or in a slightly different context or a heated situation, you may not even recognize what those signs are in the first place, and that's very common. So, I understand that these two fingers touching each other in context mean until depending on how the you use it i've never seen this but it makes sense that it could be like one of these so that's why it makes sense i've never seen empty done well i've always seen empty like this but i've never seen empty like this which but also it still makes sense uh at least in the context of situations like empty yeah like i get that and whew, uh, all together it's almost as if i'm listening to someone with a bit of an accent or uh, with a style that is characteristic to them. And when I say this is a good show for ASL, I mean like this is a good way to experience the very different ways that people ha or stylistic choices that people have when it comes to signing things. Because it's a very realistic, it's a very common thing to run into to have people have very stylistic ways of signing things and have an intensity that carries with the signs that they use it's so common and that's why i'm saying like this is a really good show because they aren't just using the textbook signs or the textbook you know um expressions they're saying things with sarcasm or with heat behind it and with attitude and i'm like this is a great show to introduce asl to a lot of people this would be a really really cool thing to hopefully catch on and with multiple seasons we get to see more personality with this character please don't kill her please don't do like a, a game of thrones on <laughs> general maya please i don't even i hope i hope i hope there's more to come in the future but uh like i said great show and what we can learn from that is that her body language is in is in tuned with how she's expressing herself and that the way that we express ourselves the choices, the stylistic choices that we take might fall on completely, on completely unprepared ears. And so we should be aware that um, some of the stylistic choices that we have might reflect the way how we feel. But as far as expressing that to another person might completely be missed in context. So that's something we should be aware of, too, because you don't want to be ketchup. <laughs> you, maybe you want to be ketchup, but you at least want to, like, n let the person know that you are ketchup. Ah, that's an embarrassing story. Let's continue. The empty stays empty, empty until until we, we find, find the boys. boys. Fine, sorry. Find the boys, you, Baron. Oh, look at that! 
<laughs> that is the sa He's like, ah, this is. <laughs> He's so upset. He's so upset. He's just. Ah, great voice acting. This is what I get. Oh, this is the scene, guys. This is like one of the major scenes of the show that made me go like, holy crap, this show is so good. Hello, sister. It looked like she said sister. Can I see that again slow? Hello. Yes. So sister, brother, sister, sister. Okay, so she's doing, hello, sister. Actually, she's doing it sad, so like, hello, sister, right? I get that. I get that. It's hard to see from that angle, but you can see that the fingers are still out. I have the contrast pumped up a little bit on my uh, media player, but still. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so let's continue. This is, I think, one of the best scenes in the show. I want to see if I can play it out. You might, okay. I am not going to talk as the scene goes, but we'll break it down. Oh, I don't know what that one means. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Pressure. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I said it with a talk. <laughs> that means failed. <laughs> oh no. How many minutes are we into recording? <laughs> oh man, it's been 42 minutes already. Are you kidding me? That is nuts. That is literally nuts. I'm sorry for taking so long, guys. I am only, f oh, five minutes into this. All right. Anyway, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we got. I apologize for taking so long, guys. All right. So you, me, you, me, H, E, R O This means perfect. Um ooh 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 I'm going too fast. Right. Perfect. Perfect. S strong. But this is the part I don't get. Strong this, strong still. Oh, she's she's pushing it forward. Okay. This means durable, but strong, and maybe this is another sign that I'm just not too familiar with, but like it generally means still or keeps going on. So what does she say? Perfect, strong, um, keeps going on, unwavering, keeps going forward. Um, keeps going on because this means durable but I know she's not saying durable like unwavering I guess I guess unwavering um steadfast steadfast probably I don't know the sign for steadfast but basically like consistently moving uh, sing or still like still, 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 still. So like steadfast could work really well in that. Unwavering could work as well. But basically perfect, strong, steadfast. I like that. Whether that's exactly what she said, probably not the exact words. It's hard to ex translate it. I don't think there's a one-to-one -one translation for what this is. And if there is, let me know in the comments. But I know this means, this means durable, but I think she's separating the words as strong and then ongoing. So like uh, never ending, everlasting, or um, unwavering, or steadfast. I like steadfast. I'll stick with that. You are my hero. Perfect. Strong. Steadfast. Let's see. And then this next sign is even weirder. This means heart. Heart. 
I think she's saying heart give, which is sort of a literal translation for something else, but like heart give. I know compassion, and I know, let's see, kind hearted. Um, I'm going through my head for what this could mean. I don't know what that means, but sh I think she's saying heart give. So like gives her heart, like gives her heart, heart giving, compassionate. Because I already know what compassionate is. Oh, this is weird, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to figure out this sign that she's using where it's like she's pointing to her heart and she's making the giving signs. Heart give. It could just straight up be that. And there may not necessarily be like a direct English translation for that, but like you giving your heart out, like you give your heart out. You're so you're, sh you're perfect. You're strong. You're steadfast. You give your heart out. You're compassionate. Compassionate is generally what that means. Like if I, if I, if I'm person that, if I'm a person that does this, I'm compassionate, but we already have a word from compassion in ASL, which is like this. So I would say it's, I would say it's enough for it to be the same. But it is not a one-to-one -one direct translation. And it could just be that I don't know the sign. But I, li I literally think she's saying you give your heart. You gave so much of your heart. And that could be defined as compassionate if you're translating the ASL to English. All right, let's just keep going. Um, so uh, steadfast, compassionate, and, and, oh, and. You, oh, to you, sorry, and I'm sorry, or to you, big, big, what's that mean? <laughs> oh, man, big, oh, it's, I think she's saying sister, big sister, that makes sense. Okay. Failed you. She's combining the two words. So fail, fail you. Failed you. I did not look at what was going on. I apologize. Failed you. Sorry, I failed you. I failed you. Let's keep going. You boys. You boys safe. Safe. And I had them, she's forming, but, oh, they, lent, they went away. Okay, okay, so I know the rest of these signs, at least. That's a lot more clear. <sighs> so she signs sister. I failed you. I think she says you here again. You, me boys oh wow okay so I think she's saying um, I'm sorry big sister so I failed you and um, your your boys but I think she signs it as you me boys uh, like so are boys basically maybe like maybe she relates to them so much that she's they're one and the same as like who their parental figure is but like you me boys which should really be more like uh, our boys but I'm letting it slide but like you you me boys um, were safe and I had them they, but they slipped away or they went away or they got away let's see those signs again so again her boys were safe but she almost had them and they slipped away and that's a really good way of showing that that's a really good way of showing that because slip it's like the literal slipped away in ASL if you're translating directly from like English is like this is slipped like that slipped but to say like I had your boys, but they went away. That's a beautiful way of saying, like, I almost was able to keep them safe. Like, they were here and they're gone. Like, you, me, boys, they were safe, 
and I had them, but they slipped away. I'm like, that's good. That is wonderfully said without words. That is wonderfully signed. <laughs> that's so well done. That's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. Ah. Uh, because I feel like in a second there, she wasn't just saying, Live like, it's your it. kids she that are lost. Him. She's not saying it's your kids that are lost. She's like, you me, boys. Like, I am as much, I am sad that I lost my family as much as you would be. Because I, they're a part of me as well. Ah, uh, it's sad. Okay. You, me, she was compassionate and patient. patient. Oh, he said compassionate. Did she do the same heart sign? Let's see if she did. Live up to what she saw in him. You heart give. They're saying compassionate is this. And I'm saying that's heart give, but I don't really have an English word for that aside from compassionate. So that makes sense. And this means enduring or patient. Um, and I think, yeah, I think so like enduring or patient. Yeah. He was compassionate and patient. and patient, but steel. Unless, of J course, you took the last L jelly tart. Oh, wow, there are a lot of letters here. <laughs> Him. You. She was compassionate and patient. One more time in real speed. <laughs> Live up to what she saw in him. You. She was compassionate give, and patient. Steel. Unless, of course, you took the last jelly tart. <laughs> Live up to what I don't know if there's enough frames to spell jelly tart. It's spelled yeah. the frame rate so low. Let's see. Nice and slow. You heart. Oh, she was compassionate. He's she's pointing away at Baron. She was and patient. The reason why I was confused and I was thinking she was starting the sentence with you is because Viren's literally standing in the frame. And it looked like she was pointing at Viren, but she's really pointing away or off to the side of Viren. And that means that you're talking about someone else that's not present. So she was compassionate and um, patient. But I think she says, but steal the last jelly. T-A-R-T. And then she's like, huh? <laughs> Which basically means like, yeah, she's compassionate and patient, but still the last jelly tart. Mm, who knows what happens then, right? I think that's what, I think that's the intonation of that of the the actual signs. So, but and patient. This means steel. J e l l y t a r t. Unless of of course you took the last Wow, that goes by so fast. Tart. And then she's just like, hmm? Steal the last jelly tart and who knows what happens. Uh, 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 uh. Such a weird laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got. A sweet, sweet tooth and an iron Oh, look fist. at that. Cool. This means sweet. Sweet tooth. Metal. Metal. Metal fist. All right. There you go. Great way to General end uh, this quick video, guys. I think, hey, we can probably stop here. But like, sweet tooth, a sweet tooth, iron hand, fist. an iron fist. All right, or metal fist. But in the context, if you General uh, Amon. Amon. So it's all good, guys. Hey, whoo! If you stuck with me through that, you have sat down and learned. <laughs> Hopefully something. <laughs> hey, let's see. What are some takeaways that we could learn from all of that stuff? Um, here are some of my takeaways. Um, ASL has signs that are about forming what you're talking about. So like, oh, these are really nice clothes. Or um, uh, so like, let's try this. ASL can, you can index things, index, index things, tooth, like sweet tooth, like I'm pointing at the thing that I'm, that I'm signing for, it's like tooth, 
I can spell things out. Spell like uh, J E L L Y T A R T, jelly tart. Um, I can form things with my hand for what I'm talking about. So like clothes, uh, breach, um, the mass of people over there going back to indexing, but like um, I can form things with my hand to describe what I'm talking about. I can also um, sign the specific term for what I mean. So like in my mind, like even this, which means person is like forming like a person, like an outline of a person, but it also means person. But when I bring, if I'm talking about a person that brings things, again, kind of like a acting it out, sort of like acting it out actually. Oh, I wonder, I'm gonna add that to, I'm gonna add that to the list. You can act, some signs are kind of like acting, and then some are just straight up just signs. Steel, I don't know what this, <laughs> I don't know, what th I don't know why this is steel, but it's the sign for steel. And um, maybe someone can explain why it just looks this way. Maybe it doesn't have to look like stealing. Maybe it's just the way that we describe it. But I feel like there's a lot more to signing than just maybe the strict arbitrary signs that refer to uh, the exact words that you want, that you mean when you're saying things. You can have signs that sort of index what you're talking about. Like my sister over there, not you, but my sister, who's not in the room, but I'm talking about her. Um, I could have signs that spell out exactly what I mean to say. I could have signs that uh, form what I'm trying to talk about, right? Or signs that sort of like act out what I'm saying, like hide or slip or sit, right? Or I can even have signs that are just like more arbitrary, like fancy. Like, why does this mean fancy? Hmm, just fancy. <laughs> there are a lot of different kinds of signs in sign language and it's fun to learn them and combine them together and the choice here and I'll, i'm wrapping it back up again but like my choice of which signs i use in a given situation whether it's like signs that are like very formative or signs that are just more like you know the arbitrary you should know what this means because like we've talked before like you know the, like the basic standardized signs for like describing these things or maybe there's signs that are like more of acting and I'm just like really getting into the moment or like a combination of all the signs put together like you you wanted this <laughs> it's so good um the combination of those things all put together just add different kinds of flavors to the expressions that you're giving and it means more when you know that someone said signs in a particular class compared to other ones because they're in a particular mood and again it just goes towards conveying the thoughts that you the the meaning that you had the thoughts that you had in the way that is best suited for what you're trying to say and hopefully the person on the other end can respect or appreciate the choices that you made and let that give them a, a more clear window for what you mean to say so yeah that's basically it um i think this is kind of cool it's a long video and i apologize for taking a long time but listen i'm really really happy that you guys stuck around because this is the end of the show listen i'm going to put a link to that where's the love 8-bit tune song that's uh, by a guy who only has like 63 subscribers but listen that was a great little jingle and i really liked it a lot and um i also am going to just say hey if you want to learn more about asl there is a guy named bill vickers who's put out all of his classes on the internet for free it's really really cool it, if you watch like maybe the first six lessons i would say you're probably caught up at least on maybe like an elementary level of sign language you'll know like how to basically sign letters how to have basic sentences out um express yourself in really cool ways and you'll begin to see like the colors that you can choose in the language of sign language to help paint the meaning of what you want with better clarity and higher resolution and it's these kinds of choices that matter so guys thank you so much for sticking with me I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.